associated equipment. Anybody have any problems? Yeah, perfect, we have to adjust them. these turrets is those crosshairs, that's it. Because if something happens, somebody pops up, when you're adjusting, you should be able to get down behind the gun again real quick and take that shot. Well, these are, the bipods are sitting up kind of high, but it's necessary because of that magazine underneath there. So we got a new target at 1,700 meters.
Get a big paintbrush, wipe down the big areas, uh, use CLP for that paste, uh, and wipe down all the points of friction. And you'll see it wherever you see a lot of the, the scratches inside the inside the, uh, the upper receiver and the lower receiver, uh, ensuring that you don't get anything on the optic. And then when you're cleaning the muzzle brake, make sure you don't stick anything down there that will scratch up the inside of there. Uh, the optic itself, just wipe it down and just use the uh, lens pins that's issued and then first brush off. Uh, you can even use cannon air, get off the majority of it and then just wipe it down with the brush and then use the uh, that little lens pad and go from the inside and go outside. Time we're just flipping down and laying down.
target. Let's go, fire and ready. Call your shot. Left dead. You don't have to pick your face. on the reticle, okay? So I understand you're gonna try to see that hash mark and you're gonna try to get that in it. Thank 
Three high, center. Are we good to start or is it still zeroing?